first top note that we're going to discuss is citronella. So it's quite citrusy and it has a similar scent to lemongrass. It's often used in insect repellents but don't be put off because it does have a really nice fresh scent. It's slightly warming in a mix so if you have muscle or joint stiffness it could be ideal for it. It's also really good for fatigue and headaches. The cautions that you have to watch out for is that it's a very stimulating oil and in high concentrations it can irritate. You would also want to avoid this in pregnancy. So typically top notes tend to be quite liquid and quite free flowing. So if we have a little look here just to see the colour as well. It's quite a clear coloured oil and it is very liquidy. You'll find it with some other oils, they're so thick and intense that you can tip the oil out ready to pour and it'll take a long time for it to come through. So you can see this is a nice, light, easy flowing oil. So the next top note in our A to Z is eucalyptus. So this is a very recognisable scent. It's menthol, it's very fresh. You've probably had this included in some of your cold and flu remedies. It's also very effective on blocked noses, sinus congestion, chestiness, but it's very effective on easing muscle pains and boosting circulation. What we have to watch with with eucalyptus is that it is very potent, so use it with caution and also use it in low concentrations. And to show you here, if you can see, it's a clear oil and again, it's very liquid, very free flowing. So our next oil in our top note A to Z is grapefruit. It's an instantly recognisable oil. It's very fresh and citrusy. It's also a very calming oil and it's antiseptic but great for muscle aches, so you can pop that in one of your clinical blends if someone's got muscle aches and pains, but also headaches. It's a great oil for fluid retention and also can be great in a mix if anyone's got areas of cellulite. What you have to watch is though that it can be a skin irritant, so always proceed with care and do your full consultation with your client. Again, if you can see this, it's quite a light oil, it's very light and pale. And again, it's free flowing. All your top notes tend to be free flowing oils. The next top note on our list is lemon. You tend to find that lemon essential oil smells really nice, almost like lemon sherbet. It's very sweet, obviously citrusy. It's also antiseptic like your grapefruit and it can be used for respiratory conditions. Obviously you always use with caution. Do your full consultation first. Also some digestive issues and it's a really good astringent so if someone does have an oilier skin or they do have some cuts you obviously proceed with caution but in the mix it could be very effective on this. One thing to watch with a lot of your citrus oils is they can be phototoxic and they can irritate so you'd make it clear to your client not to go out into the sun if you were doing any aromatherapy treatments with these oils. Just to look again, it's got quite a yellowy colour but it's quite light and again another free flowing oil. Next oil on the list is lime, which is obviously another citrusy oil. It smells really nice, really intense, so if you like lime, you will love lime essential oil. It's also quite a sharp oil, so when you pop it into the mix, you can really sort of brighten and bring a mix to life. Um, it's really good for colds, again, respiratory issues, but you always do your full consultation. It's antibacterial, it's a good immunity booster, and it's also quite an effective oil in an antidepressant blend and a stress relieving blend. So you're not suggesting for a moment that an oil will have an instant effect, but the blend in addition to the massage over a long period of time can really help to have a good effect on a client. Again, always do your consultation and proceed with care. Like your other citrusy oils, it can be photosensitive, so make your client aware of this if they're going out into sunlight after any massage. And again, just to check, this is a clear oil and again, free flowing. So the next oil is mandarin, another of our citrusy family. It's got a lovely orangey scent. It's a very good oil for relaxation blends. Um, if someone's got any insomnia, it can be quite effective on that too. And again, for oily skin conditions, yet again, like your other citrusy oils, it can be photosensitive. So always be aware if your client is having a massage treatment and then going out into sunlight, um, make sure again, they do not sunbathe, they don't go to sunbeds, just it would cause extreme skin irritation depending on your client's sensitivity. So again, just to check the color of this oil. Now this is a slightly thicker oil as you'll see and it's much more yellow toned. So we can see there 
that this one comes out a little bit slower from your dropper so you'll have more control when you're blending that oil into your blend. Continuing with our top notes, we're on to orange now. Yet another citrusy oil. It's very sweet, very warm. And again, if you love orange, then you will love orange aromatherapy oil. It's another one that's very good for a stress relief blend, also good for digestive ailments. Um, it's antiseptic, it's great for any muscle aches and pains. This also has a mild sedative effect, so it's considered a calming oil. It's really good again for any colds and just like the other citrusy oils, it can be quite a good skin soother, yet again photosensitive, so be very aware if your client is going out into sunlight. Just to check again, to see how this oil pours. It's more of a yellow toned oil and it's still quite liquid, maybe not the most liquidy oil, but again you would have to be careful that you don't put too many drops into your blend. Our next top note is peppermint, um, another very distinctive scent, it's very fresh, very minty and it's menthol, um, very effective on digestive ailments. A lot of people will actually take peppermint oil capsules if they have any digestive issues. Um, very effective, as you can imagine, on headaches, really good for nausea and can also be effective on respiratory issues. But as we keep saying, you must check the condition of the client. What is the respiratory issue? Can they have a treatment? Now, the cautions with peppermint are because it's very stimulating, it can be a skin irritant. So do not use this in high doses. Use it cautiously if someone is pregnant or avoid it completely. So again, if you're in any doubt, refer to your insurance company, do your research and don't use an oil if you're not sure if it's usable with your client. Take everyone as you find them, do your full consultation. So for peppermint, if we have a look at this oil, it's a clear oil and again, it's quite free flowing. But this one, like eucalyptus, is very distinctive. So the last oil in our top notes is petit grain. So this smells quite citrusy, but it also has a floral element. But I would say if you were going to describe it, it's more on the orangey side. Now this is one that's good for stress relief again. Um, if anyone's got any sleep conditions, they've got insomnia, it can be effective in a blend. It's also antiseptic and yet again, great for your digestive ailments. The caution with petit grain is not to use it neat on the skin like so many oils, but it's generally got no known cautions. But if you're in any doubt, again, do your research. There's always new research coming out and do your full consultation with your client. So checking for petit grain. This is, as you can see, a bit of a thicker oil. You can always tell when it takes longer for the oil to come out. So looking at this one, it's a clear oil, but this just shows you the difference between your thinner versus your thicker oils. Once we get started, it's relatively thin, but it's definitely thicker than some of your other oils.